Yeah, it's been significant. I mean, uh, having older guys come in, just the maturity level, the, the way that we're able to uh, have a feel for each other at, a, at an early uh, stage like this has been, um, I mean, it's going to pay dividends for the season, of course. I mean, just guys that can uh, shoot the ball, guys that have seen, you know, high-level teams at different places, like from CJ from Iowa, Ke uh, Kellen being successful at Davidson. I mean, just got in Siberia, George. I mean, you just got guys that have seen different things. It's been helping us a lot. You mentioned some of that guard rotation. How do you see that playing out so far as as the responsibilities of who's bringing up what and who's kind of rotating in there? Yeah, I mean, you got guys that can, you know, we have guys from one through four that can all bring it up. I mean, guys that have, you know, different talents. So, I mean, you, you can have your guards spread up the floor if they don't have the ball. I mean, different guys can bring it up with uh, it being such a talent, uh, talented team. Who on the team has the best snacks? You said snacks? Yeah. Like as in food? Oh, food, yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, we kind of pretty much eat the same thing. I know Lance, he's probably like the biggest snacker. He is the most sweet tooth on the team. What's he like? What's his coach? Uh, I think they call it Dunkaroos. It's like a little, it's like a little sweet cookie you dip inside of something. It's, I've never heard of it, but he eats those like every day. Yeah. Coach was talking about playing with a little more speed this year and kind of changing the playing style a little bit. What have you noticed about that so far? How different is it? Yeah, I mean, uh, right now we're on a, uh, an offense. We're doing a dribble drive. I mean, you're getting in there looking to score, looking to throw a lot of lobs. I mean, the speed and transition has picked up a lot. It's a way that I like to play. Um, and it's, it's worked really well for us so far. Um, it's a little bit different than last year where we're kind of chasing the ball. When we were chasing the ball, now we're kind of opening up the floor, uh, having, you know, kind of a four-out presence, sometimes five out. It's been fun. If you had the room with one coach on a road game, which coach would you room with? Coach O, wow. yeah, Orlando, man, he's super cool. Like, somebody's chill, funny. He's always gonna have a good vibe, and he's super positive. Like, I don't, I think it's hard. Like, it's hard to piss him off. So, it's, I like him. <laughs> yeah. are, are you hoping that's the way it stays? Yeah, yeah, it's gotta stay that way. Yeah. yeah. Who, who, who has the most heat on their feet? Like, who has, who brings the heat every day? Or uh, I would say Brennan, Canada. He. I mean, he has almost everything. You got to pay attention. Bring that camera to his feet. He's definitely going to have something different every day, for sure. Yeah, obviously, being able to practice uh, this year as opposed to last summer, you know, when um, I don't think you all really saw each other until, until the fall, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, obviously, there's, there's a lot more camaraderie and that kind of thing. Um, how quickly did it kind of pay off for you all on the court? Do you, you kind of knew about each other's you know, talents and that kind of thing, how you can play off each other? Yeah, definitely. Um, having guys, you know, be able to be around each other a lot more, it definitely paid off. Um, and I came here late as well, so I think kind of towards the beginning of July came and I immediately saw the type of feel that guys already had for each other. I mean, it's. It, that translates, like the off the court behavior translates on the court. So, I mean, it, it definitely is it's how you trust your teammates in late game situations and stuff like that. So, it's, it's definitely paid off. How big 